you saying all that, I can concur to that because you always had like this uh, confidence about you that I've seen through all the years. Um, how did you get that confidence? Do you know, do you know how you got that confidence? Um, is it something you always had? Or? I'm gonna share like I'm gonna share something with the world, and um, it's gonna be actually like my first time sharing this with y'all, and I really want y'all to like like really hold this to your hearts and understand that I'm I'm, I'm sharing a piece of me with y'all. You feel me? Like my confidence came from me not being confident at all. You know what I mean? Like I was one of those, I was I was one of those kids. Like I didn't I didn't have like all the latest Jordans coming up. Like I didn't have like all the latest fashions. Like I, I was one of those kids that I didn't have like toys. Like yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Like you know how like, you go to like people houses, like yeah, friends houses, and they got like a toy chest, and they got this and that. Like no, nah, like. I love my mother to death. Shout out to Big Bird. You feel me? I love her to death. Like, uh, I'm a reflection of her. And a lot of this confidence comes from what she instilled into me. You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But even when I didn't, I thought, like, I needed those material things, I had my mind. Yeah. Like, my mind was just, like, even at a young age, like, it scared me. Like, I would think about things and visualize things that was, like, so monstrous that I would think, like, what the fuck am I thinking about that for? I'm only seven. I'm only yeah. eight, you know what I mean? But a lot of it just came from just knowing that one day, like, I was going to get my opportunity to to have all those things. And my mother always instilled into me from young, like, you know, you got a roof over your head, you got food on your stomach, you feel what I'm saying? They're going to talk, they're going to say what they're going to say, but you're going to make it, you're surviving, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was just like, I never, I never let it get me down. I just stayed confident in just knowing, like, I'm somebody, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm set from a higher power, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I might not have it today, but I could learn how to do it, you know what I mean? And I can apply the skill sets to keep on getting it, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it would be times where, you know, I didn't feel like the, the flies and they go on the planet, but... I am, you feel me? And it's not it's not the clothes that I wear, it's not the things that I buy, but it's the way that I feel about myself. You know what I mean? And it's the way that I, I personally believe that I want others to feel about themselves as well. You know that, what I that's mean? That's a good message to have, for real. That's a good message to put out there to the youth, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a good way of thinking. Uh, and your mom is, is dope for instilling those things in you because you can share that with everybody else. And it shows you don't have to, you don't even have to say nothing to people to show them that. Just through your actions, you know, somebody might follow in your footsteps yeah. from your actions. Yeah, you know, like to touch on that, like, you know, I'm 31 years old now. You know, I like to say I'm 31. You know what I mean? And even in the never essence, like I'm timeless. Like I don't let my age really get me down but you know it's like when I was when I was younger I used to feel like I had to have everything like I used to be arrogant when I was younger I used to be big-headed I used to be cocky and I'm just here to let y'all know like arrogance a killer man you feel what I'm saying arrogance a blinder man and the way that I, I used to treat people wasn't the right way to treat people. And I personally believe that the way, the reason why I was treating those people